All right. Welcome to the AK Cooking Show. We can rename it anything, but I can dub this the Unkim Cooking Show, AK Cooks, whatever you want to call it. So today we're doing for the first time in my life that I remember making my own homemade potato chips. And so we've already put these in the fryer. Now I prefer to put things on low heat so they don't burn. Um, and you can put a whole bunch of fries, but it seems like where it overlaps, it gets kind of raw. And I think this, one of these chips here is like one of the most golden. You see it's golden on almost both sides. Now you can eat it right away if you can handle the heat, but this grease is very hot and I'm sensitive to heat, so I'm gonna let it cool off before I do that. And then before you let it cool off, you can put some seasoning. So if you're into like the jalapeno style chip, you can actually um, grind up or chop with a knife. Uh, I don't own a blender anymore, <laughs> Not a lot of people don't. In the world, I think most people don't in the world. Only the wealthy have a electronic blender. But you can use a knife like this here and just chop up with some uh, garlic and some um, uh, jalapeno. And actually, you can pre marinate this if you want beforehand. Soak it all in that spices or 10 different spices and then fry it. And it's already ready to go when you get it out of the fryer. Or you can do it afterwards. And then refry it, or or you can cook like your seasoning, you know, all the way through until it's completely cooked, and then put it on top, or use it as a dip. So there's different ways of doing it. So this chip's been here for a while. Usually I put a little salt or something, but I'm just gonna try this straight to see what it tastes like. Because I've never had a, well, I've had homemade French fries, but like. The shape and the texture is different when it's, you know, flat like a chip. Mmm, it's really good. You get a solid potato taste. These are actually Russell potatoes I got from Fiesta on 105 Conroe. So a little plug for you guys there. Please give me a discount next time I go there. <laughs> I want to buy your store. No. Literally I do. But... So it's actually kind of nice. It's a crispy taste. You don't get the um, kind of preservative flavor like a lot of regular chips have. Um, that's always kind of a minor complaint people have. And if you're like me, you live too far away from an organic store. And then don't have the <coughs> lofty budget. You know, some, some people have a lot of money. So they can buy anything they want. But... You know, this potato was only 69 cents a pound. So I think one potato wasn't even a pound yet. And look how much you get here. And then the oil I use, if you're wondering, you can use any oil. And this is Clover Valley Vegetable Oil from Dollar General. Which is very close to our house. It actually, one opened up um, right at the, uh, like, T, that the main boulevard of this home is located. So we're going to fry some more here. So I think uh, pre, you know, marinating these or seasoning these and then frying them is probably an easy idea to do. But, but you can do this and then some of them you can marinate. Um, some people like it plain just to experience kind of the natural chip flavor. And then you can sprinkle seasonings or make a dip so <clears throat> so you can see what, what these chips look like take a look at that honey hi Amara hi my wife y'all clan sorry you're not here to enjoy this but I promise when I get back to you I'll make these for you guys it's really good I was gonna be, I was kind of concerned that these were gonna come out a little soggy and stuff, but if you fry them until they're nice and golden and crisp, and then eat them right away, they're still pretty crispy. 
Uh, I'm not sure how long they'll stay crispy though. But I'm probably gonna eat them all before they <laughs> before they ever ever get old. Mmm. Mmm. So, see when you cut them with a knife yourself, so you can see. Um, my slices are thicker than what you get from the machine cut. Because most of the potato chips that are manufactured when you get pre-bagged, even I think even at a uh, organic store or natural store like Sprouts or Whole Foods or Trader Joe's um, are cut by a machine and they're cut really thin but these thicker slices are nice actually they're kind of heartier it's like steak fries you know which I really like I had a good experience with the bag uh, also I leave the rind on them or the skin on them because there's a like a potato skin chip that's sold at Dollar King sometimes I really like that flavor plus I heard the skin has nutrients we need like vitamins minerals organic compounds that you go to school kids you'll learn it but you know it's like potato skin is good enough most people understand <laughs> it's like fiber that you need you know Mm, that's good. Now, if you want to do like a sour cream and onion version of this, you, you can do it with fresh sour cream and fresh onion. And just make a dip and dip it in. Or, you can kind of... If you want, you can fry these and then saute them together. Gives you kind of like a scallop potato kind of... Have you ever seen that, like in a box, kind of flavor, but without the scallops? Because some people are, um, maybe didn't have a good experience with scallops or, or kind of, uh, have a, uh, just find that it stinks. Let's just go with that. Like some seafood has a kind of a weird smell, so. For various different reasons, so. Well, scabs, scallops directly from the ocean when they're still fresh, surrounded by tons of seawater and stuff, don't have much of a smell at all. Well, when you cook them, then that smell comes out. Well, you can counter that smell. Some chefs do it all the time with some kind of uh, vinaigrette. And onions and other things and I think they might actually pour out like the first water when they boil them to dampen the smell which for some people makes it taste uh, plain kind of watered down but for some people like me I don't notice it and I still think it tastes good so then you put a lot of lemon and that acid and that natural lemon acid can neutralize the smell so I really like science in school, so it was a big part of my job as an engineer, so well, this is like food engineer. If you don't think it exists, it does. <laughs> mm, fun. Well, I almost ate all my chips now. <laughs> so it doesn't take long, surprisingly. I thought it would take forever. Uh, less than like, I'm on low heat right now, less than like five minutes. I'm sorry, my burn is a little dirty. This thing does a lot of work and we're out in the woods here, so everything has a little dust and dirt on it, you know. But the weather's great today. Today, if you're wondering what the date is, it's September. I think it's Monday the uh, 27th so around there so you just put a little oil if you got a big deep fry you could probably fry all of these at the same time and they'd be done faster or just use a bigger pot put a lot of oil and then recycle your oil now if you're not 
into deep fried or your cholesterol is high, please be wary of this. <laughs> this will probably increase your cholesterol besides the starch in here um, and the oil. But then you can um, sprinkle like olive oil, vinegar, lemon, um, onion, garlic, whatever spices you want, even some meat, other vegetables, a bit of fruit, you know, natural fruit. Actually makes taste things makes things taste interesting and really good. Uh, you don't have to use as much processed sugar. And then you can bake it. You like a potato bake. That's real good with a little bit of cheese, like low fat cheese, or just a small amount of regular cheese. Uh, your cholesterol is still high. After you exercise, or after you eat, you do exercise, you know. You know, exercise, uh, um, when I was young, we never got more than like 50 minutes of exercise. That's how long our classes were. But uh, growing up, now I got a lot of free time. You can exercise longer. And I think if you pull it out more than an hour, hour and a half, two hours, you know, and you get a good, long, slow paced uh, workout when you exercise. That's that's more beneficial. It's more uh, endurance. And it's healthier for you, you know. Even if you have to do it in bits, like you got to exercise an hour a day, hour tomorrow, or hour in the morning, hour in the afternoon. And really your body's constantly exercising. It's just people don't know that your heart, your lungs, your... Like almost every cell in your body is constantly doing work. It's just whether you have big muscles, you know, whether it shows up, that's always an issue. <laughs> Like if you why you ex if you exercise why can't you lift a hundred pounds, AK? I can lift a hundred pounds, but never comfortably. You know my arms are like one, my hands like one pound, my fingers like an ounce. You know what I mean? And then my look how small my forearm is. Even though I've ate tons of food, it's never really uh, soaked into my forearms. And I don't do a lot of forearm exercises yet. I mean to, because I get so busy with so many different works and and things I, I just haven't put out the time yet. and then some guys who work out I think they consume a lot of, of meat <laughs> more than I do I'm I'm kind of like an average diet only sometimes I eat soups and stuff and then I think they take some kind of uh, muscle powder or something so that that helps them build up their muscle. Of course, they work out a lot too. Some maybe never take that powder and just eat, you know, a lot of potatoes. I would guess the muscle powder comes from milk and and uh, derivatives from food, you know. You can see that's frying right now. So that's your homemade chip recipe. No. These are just plain chip recipes. You're free to put anything you want. I've said that a few times already. I'm just repeating myself just in case you jumped into the video now. <laughs> I know some people are going to be like, who is this guy? And then just kind of like scroll through the video and be like, okay. And then never watch it again for a long time. And maybe come back like a decade or two later. If YouTube's even still around. <laughs> I'm afraid all this is not going to be around. I'll have to re-upload everything to another site which I've done a few times already with other web pages. Never with all these videos, so this is the first original online set that you see. Well, 800 plus videos on my channel, so check out. I have uh, videos from different places around the world, airports, you know, in Vietnam, South Vietnam, where I normally vacation with my family. And uh, here in Texas, too, you know. All right. So God bless everyone forever. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video. So, if eternal life, eternal happiness, eternal wealth, especially my family, check it out. So, you can see the running clock's been 15 minutes. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time. Now I'm not using a ton of oil or a huge pot, so this is gonna take more time. If I had a deep fryer and put it on high heat, it would fry faster. 
And uh, if I had a bigger fryer, I could fry all of this in one shot instead of half a plate at a time. So, okay. So that's our homemade fry recipe. So if you like that, please this uh, give this uh, video a like. Please subscribe if you can. It's free. And if it's not free, then uns unsubscribe if you're unhappy. <laughs> But, uh, and comment if you want. So, well, you know, what you think, and, and if you got a YouTube channel you're trying to build, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll check it out. You know, I try to log into my YouTube channel and look at all the comments, um, every day. I don't get many nowadays. So I don't have like millions of subscribers and stuff yet, but I promise I'll get through all of them eventually. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next vid. <laughs>